The treatment I'm going to show you today, and I'm going to put it on within the next five minutes because it has to stay on for 90 minutes, actually peels away the surface of the epidermis. And the epidermis is much thicker than you think it is. It's as thick as a blister. Every time you touch a hot iron and you get a water blister, the water inside is called lympha. And that's because underneath the dead cells of the epidermis are live cells called the dermis. And that lympha that is in there is bathing and washing those live cells underneath because all live cells have to live in water. And we're going to peel away more than 50 to 60 or 75 percent of the epidermis of the skin. The only way that uh, uh, alpha hydroxy acid could do this would be um, if a physician does it using a 70 percent solution. If you use a 70 percent solution, you're asking for you're in very serious trouble because you never want to work beyond the realm of being a cosmetologist or an esthetician. The minute you do, if anything ever goes wrong, you've had it. So I have a model here, and I'd like to apply the, I have a lot to tell you today, but I must get this on immediately um, so that for 90 minutes it can stay on before we take it off. Now if it stays on for an hour and, I said an hour and a half, right? If it stays on for 10 or 15 minutes more, it doesn't matter, but it must be on for that amount of time. And before she even gets in the chair, I did explain to the uh, young lady that um, uh, there is a burning sensation. And the burning sensation is relieved by 80% the minute you put the fan on. So you always want to have a fan there. You want to look at the skin before you clean it. Because this is a way of analyzing it. If she's dry, you will see a lot of flakiness. If she's oily, like this lady has an oily skin, you can see a lot of oiliness and shine. So already I know she has a, a mildly problem blemish maybe in a way and an oily skin with definitely an oily T-zone and I can see that. But the moment you cleanse the skin with a cleanser and a freshener, you have removed all the telltale signs of what the surface is. Because your cleanser and your freshener and your wet cotton pads, I use wet cotton pads, some of you may use sponges, are all filled with water and astringent. And the minute you touch a dry flaky skin with that, you hydrate it and plump it up. And then when you come in, even with a magnifying lamp, you cannot see because you have just moisturized all the dead cells and the dead, and the, uh, dead cell patches. So that's a very, um, a lot of you don't do that, I know. You just, the client comes in, you clean the skin, and then you analyze it. Look at it first. To clean the skin, that's all we're going to do. No steam, no nothing, no stimulation whatsoever. All you want to do is just clean it with cleanser. And if you can learn these simple movements, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the products that you put on the skin, such as massage cream, night cream, treatment cream, are done in the same manner. You just put it on your fingers, not your whole hand, just your fingers, one, two, three, four. Get right in here where the makeup is caught, no, and, and straight lifting the brow, you come straight downward on the lashes. Now one of the reasons that I am using cotton pads today, and I always have, I've never been into sponges. Uh, how many of you here use facial sponges? Uh, they're starting to outlaw them in the United States as they feel they're very unsanitary. If you feel your sponge or your cotton is very cold, just break the shock by tapping the face a few times like this. So all I'm doing is removing the makeup, the dirt, the grease, the grime, the dead cells, what's ever on her face. Holding the eyebrow taut, you just come straight down. Mm -hmm. 
decay. The second step of cleansing, as you know, because cleansing is not complete unless you, use, unless you use a freshener, a potion, a t oops, that's the cleanser. Uh, an astringent of some kind, a skin freshener. Today we're going to apply application number one. Let's make sure her face is dry. And we use a wood spatula that comes with your kits. Tongue depressors. Uh, sealed. I like to put a tissue in the client's hand. Would you want to just hold on to this tissue? Just in case during the treatment she feels she's tearing or something and wants to dab her eyes. She likes that feeling. You always start applying from the top, from the forehead down. I want everyone here to know exactly if it burns, if it stings. Don't hold anything back. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Cream is applied in a downward application. You do not apply it to the lips. Do you feel the burning sensation yet? No. You don't. OK. And you bring it as close to, can you open your eyes for just a second, please? Very good. You bring it as close to the lashes as possible. And the reason is, if you don't have it close to the lashes, then it's not going to do anything to the little expression lines and wrinkles and crow's feet. It cannot work where you don't put it. So I want to bring it close to her eyes. And it doesn't affect the hair at all. So I'm going to apply just a little bit over her eyebrows to her upper lid. Now, some people will apply it to the entire lid. And when I do the lecture at the podium, I will tell you why I sometimes don't do it. As a matter of fact, I have a photograph that I can show you why sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't. Now on the neck, I'm not going to go all the way down on the neck, but I'm going to show you a little trick of how to finish the application by doing what I call a pity pat movement. Tell us how this feels so far. It feels tingly. It feels tingly. Does it burn? Don't be afraid to say that if it does. It feels burn, especially okay. under my eye area. Under your eyes. Is that okay. any better at all? OK. That is going to stop when I take it off in about 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be over thick. Doesn't hurt the hair, so you want to bring it close to the hairline. Can 
look up at the ceiling and on the neck I told you you do this little pity pat thing so that you thin it out so that there's no line of demarcation if you just end it abruptly there will be a line of demarcation If the person that you're working on is Caucasian, you can bring it further down on the neck. But if they're Asian or Oriental, you don't bring it as far down because for some reason, it has, happens once in a while that there's a little bit discoloration that may last for several weeks. So by not bringing it as far down on an Asian person, um, you don't stand the chance of that hap happening. So can you see how I just, is that okay? Are you doing okay? okay. I'm going to put a little bit more here on the cheek. Tell them, is it bur still burning? That's the end of the treatment. This treatment here, all you do is just clean the face, put it on like a mask, and this is it. And for 90 minutes, we have nothing to do but talk. Take off your rubber glove, get rid of it. 